What's up, everybody? So let's talk about British Williams. So she was one of the basketball wives. So she joined the cast of Basketball Wives LA during season three in 2014. And at the time, she appeared on VH1 show as the fiance of the overseas basketball player Lorenzo Gordon, who is also the father of her child. I believe she appeared on Marriage Boot Camp as well. And she also was a co-host of a morning show on a St. Louis radio station, but she reportedly lost her job earlier this year in the wake of her guilty plea. And y'all, she got caught up in some fraud related felonies. And so now she is facing four years in prison for fraud. Talk about a mess, honey. British Williams was sentenced to four years in prison for 15 fraud-related felonies. In court today, British, who is 33 years old, reportedly asked the judge for leniency in her sentencing so that she wouldn't be away from her daughter, Dash. I knew better and I did wrong anyway, British said. She also stated that the idea of being separated from her five-year-old was heartbreaking. In addition to the four-year sentence, Judge Henry E. Autry ordered British to pay restitution of $565,000. Damn, girl, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So... A little backstory in May, British pleaded guilty to five felony counts of misuse of a social security number, four counts of bank fraud, three counts of making false statements to the IRS, and three counts of wire fraud. British Williams was getting paid to portray her celebrity lifestyle on Basketball Wise when in fact she was a typical fraudster, says special agent in charge, Jay green bird because honey from the pictures honey she was looked like she was living the high life living like she was in the lap of luxury i'm just saying after today's sentencing her reality is now life of a felon federal agents accuse her of illegally obtaining ppp loans and fraudulently using social security numbers and y'all it was a lot of people who got those ppp loans when they know they should not have gotten those ppp loans okay because me my nosy tail yes i went and looked at the list and i saw some people who i know for a fact <laughs> did not have a business but they got money and I, one person I know for sure that does not have a business is my uncle and i saw his name on the list i'm like how is what you finna go to jail. <laughs> I'm like, my uncle is about to go to jail. But anyway, this is not about my uncle. So in May, British pleaded guilty to five federal counts of misuse of a social security number, four counts of bank fraud, three counts of making false statements to the IRS, and three counts of wire fraud. The crimes took place over the course of nearly a decade and continued even after she was indicted. Damn. According to Assistant U.S. Attorney Diane Cloak, federal authorities accused British of illegally obtaining PPP loans that were meant for businesses affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. She was accused of underreporting her income on tax returns from 2017 to 2019 fraudulently using social security numbers that were not assigned to her to open accounts with credit card companies and banks and submitting fake medical bills to at least one insurance company. And to add more to this, U.S. District Judge Henry Autry said she had similar characteristics she spotted in fellow fraudsters during his years on the bench. The unique and keen ability to engage in conduct at the time and slough it off, he said. In your own mind, eh, it's not really that bad, he explained, but it is, it's really that bad. So like I stated earlier, British and her attorney, Bo Brindley, asked that she get leniency because she was taking responsibility for doing wrong despite knowing better. The judge, however, highlighted how her various fraudulent acts 
led to her racking up in $150,000 a year from 2017 to 2020. And he said, that's a pretty damn good wage, he said. Not only are you out there for people to watch your entertainment, but also for people to watch you, added the judge. That's a big obligation. Girl, that is a hot mess. And so I don't know if she was trying to get all this money just to support her and her daughter, or she was trying to get this money to put on a facade like she had money because she had been on Basketball Wives and she wanted to continue to live, I guess, large and live like she had some money. I don't know what it was, but honey, when you get greedy, it catches up with you. Like people who scam and do things like this, they don't know how to take some and keep it moving. No, they like to keep on getting it until they get caught up. I mean, that's how it always is, right? It's like, you know, they are smart enough to actually get this stuff, but then they become dumb because they don't know when to stop. And so it's sad that she's going to have to go to prison and be away from her daughter. Her daughter is going to be nine years old whenever she gets out. And that's sad. She's she's literally like missing out on a, an important time in her daughter's life during the elementary school years, you know, and it's, it's just going to be a sad situation. Her daughter is a cutie pie too. And so, I mean, if you, if you do stuff like this, just know that you may get caught up and you might go to prison behind it, you know? So, you know, I kind of feel bad for the daughter because her daughter is going to be a away from her mommy or whatever and i'm sure that's gonna be hard for her but i mean when you do stuff like this as bad as i be wanting to go scam girl i'll be thinking about honey i need my freedom i don't want to go behind bars i don't want to go to prison i am not cut out for prison i don't care i don't care i don't care baby i will get out there and work i'm not going to prison for nobody for nobody Honey, bad as I be wanting to go scam. <laughs> let me go. Let me go make a decent wage, okay? I'm, I'm no. We need to go behind. We're, we're not going behind bars. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. Not even. So, what do y'all think about British Williams getting sentenced to four years behind bars for tax fraud and all that good stuff? Do y'all think that the sentencing was too harsh for her? Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Like this video. And y'all know what y'all gotta do. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.